So you don't see them doing jumping jacks because they don't do that in battle. You know what I'm saying? But you'll see them do the hoops, uh, hoop dances. You'll see them do the uh, circle drills where they roll a, dr a circle and then they've got to try to throw a spear through it or a rock through it. Um, there's rock throwing contests. There's tons of terrain, uh, hunting, tracking type of games that kids will play. It's almost like a hide and seek attribute, but it's, to, it's fun for the kid, but it's actually teaching them the training and the skill set they'll need as a warrior. So one of the habits they'll start doing early on is the drum. The drum's key because the drum's known as the uh, heartbeat of an Apache. As the drum beats faster, so does the heart. As the drum beats slower, it relaxes you. If you can't go to sleep, you play the drum soft and soothly. If you're sick and you need to slow down the heart because of palpitations, they'll actually play the beat slowly while the person's sick and it's been proven to lower the person's heartbeat and help them recover. If, they have, if they're losing a lot of blood and they're losing that, that pulsation and that heartbeat is getting too slow, they'll increase the beat of the drum and that'll help uh, stimulate the activation of the heart to pump a little bit stronger. So, Everything ties into that. Battle tactics, training tactics are all based on the drum beat. They're going to be a fast drum beat would be a, a full contact sparring idea, or a slow beat would be a nice slow drill. We also practice the, teaching them at a young age to use the back side of the hand for drumming. You'll see us do it as adults in both hands because there's times where the hand will turn this way, hand will turn that way. But in a defensive position, the hand's here because when we hold our shields at the uh, Lee Pad Apaches, they, they were a little unusual Apache tribe because instead of the normal three by three shields that most of the other Apaches would have, we actually had a full length shield because we do the horsebacks and we wanted something that covered our legs all the way up to our heads. So we had what looked more like the uh, African tribal shields that went up to five, six feet you know, on the shields. But all the shields would be grabbed where we take our hands and we face it this way. This is a, just a drum, but if this were a shield, I'd hold it hand here. Because again, we already know from other knife systems that if we're cut, we'd rather be cut here than here. And just because we have a shield doesn't mean that items aren't gonna puncture and go through it. And then if the shield's not there, we're already used to holding the shield up and keeping our hands in this position. So while we're in the circle here, the, the, the circle of the group, the reason why Apaches always sit in circles is because it's equality. It's not like I'm in front and you guys are behind. We're all in the same circle. I'm no better than you. You're no better than him. Even though we have different status within our tribes, when we sit in conference, we have equal right to speak our, our opinions. And then you'll see a cross in the middle of that circle, like you see that center cross there that's representative of the Apache medicine will. Similar in size to the dream captures, which are the webbing, but we didn't have the dream catchers. The Apaches had the medicine will. And then just like the yin-yang is balanced between two sides, so is the north, east, west, south idea of the, uh, the cross. So the cross is also a representation similar to what the yin-yang is in the Asian community. So what we're gonna start now is using the floor, I'm gonna demonstrate with the drum first, but we're gonna start it with the back of the hand because the drum will be our initiation it basically means we're going to be starting our session and we're asking for a blessing from from our creator as well so i'm going to take the back of my hands i'm going to be drumming that's just the basic one two beat of the drum the basic heartbeat there's also ir ir irregular arrhythmias in the heart which are represented by the the beat and a half type deal. I can go left, right, I can go right, left, I can go one and a half, one and a half, okay? And then the other one would be I could also do it together. The demonstration or representation of the double hand drumming is because we're, we're uniting not just one tribe or one band, but everybody. That means it's typically gonna be a larger ceremony and a, and a more important mission. So if you see two hands beat and everybody would be doing it, then that means it's, it's a more important meeting as opposed to, and if it's a speedy meeting and there's a, something that, there's a battle happening right now, a raid, or there's a, a, an emergency, you're gonna see more of that. And then the same thing applies with our action. So without the, well, I'm gonna do the drum, but you guys are gonna use the back of the hand and you're gonna go, just keep beat with mine. So go up my rhythm, my cadence. And stop, let's do the right, left. Let's do the left, right. Let's do the beat and the half, right to left.
Let's do the left-right. 